Welcome back to the Michigan State University Herbarium. My name is Matt. Today I'm going to tell you about specimens and why we collect them. So thanks for joining me. I have a couple examples here of what most of our specimens look like. This is a really good example of what most of our plant specimens actually look like. So you can see the material itself has been pressed and dried and glued to acid-free paper. In the lower right corner, there's a label that contains really important information, like who collected the plant, when it was collected, and where it was collected. This is a pretty typical example of a lichen specimen. You can see that it still has an informative label, but with this one, it's in a little packet. Lichens tend to be smaller, and they'll grow on rocks or bark, and so they sort of lend themselves to storage this way. While most of our specimens are mounted on sheets or kept in packets, sometimes they don't fit on a sheet, or they won't press flat. And a really good example of this is obviously pine cones. So things like pine cones or acorns or something like that, it's just easier to keep them in boxes. And we actually have a great collection of pine cones from Mexico. And you can see some of them are even quite large, like this. Uh, aside from boxes, we also have a few fluid collections. And if you go check out um, another one of our videos, we also have other interesting historical objects like old collecting books that students made. People have been collecting herbarium specimens since the 16th century. At first, it was to help students who needed to learn medicinal plants, but mainly in the past 400 years, the reason that people have collected and established herbarium collections in general is to study the planet's biodiversity. Herbarium specimens are really the basis of any studies of plant biodiversity because they're what names are based on, uh, so herbarium specimens document where plants grow, and how they're different from one another. One really important thing about specimens is that they create a stable physical record of what plants look like, where they're found, and when they're growing and blooming. And that lets us document how plant biodiversity and distributions change over time. Specimens provide a useful baseline that allows us to track historical change as well as predict how plant biodiversity might change in the future. We can also extract DNA from herbarium specimens, and that lets us build evolutionary trees, understand genetic diversity, and we can use DNA from small fragments for identification. Our collection sees lots of practical uses, from education and outreach to helping people identify plants. But the primary use does remain scientific. Herbarium specimens are used by botanists to describe and document new species, as well as to write really important identification tools like the Field Manual of Michigan Flora. These are really important resources for anybody who wants to learn more about their regional flora, and they require herbarium specimens. But let's not forget that lots of people collect specimens because it's fun, and it's a really great way of connecting with nature. Whether you're collecting for a herbarium, or for a school project, or an art project, it's a great opportunity to learn more about plants, observe their life cycles, really appreciate just how diverse and beautiful they are. Yeah, I love collecting specimens. I know lots of other people who do too. And it's a chance to get to know your natural heritage and your local flora. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. Bye.